how to create RSVP page for wedding in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create a RSVP page into our Squarespace website and how we can customize it to a wedding RSVP page. So the process is going to be very easy. You're going to head over your website on squarespace.com then you're going simply here to head over the account dashboard. Now, as you can see, we are on our account dashboard. We're going to select the website that we want to uh, add the RSVP page to. So basically, I'm going to click on this one because it is, I think, the only website that uh, it hasn't uh, the expired trial. So we are going to click on here. And then in the meanwhile, while the website is going to load, we are going to head over pixels or uh, free pick for some uh, loyalty free uh, royalty free uh, background pictures, etc. Uh, here we have it. I'm going to head over here or head back to our Squarespace website. Now, how we can create an RSVP page? It is going to be very simple. Since we are on the website, as you can see here, we are going to head over the pages. From the pages, as you can see, we have the choice to set up the pages. So I'm going to delete some of the pages in here because I want to free up some space here and there. Page one, I'm going to delete that and we are going to add our RSVP page. We're going to click on the plus on the main navigation or it is going to be having not linked, for example, or something like that. Click on here, and then we're going to create a page layout, not a blank page, not a schedule link, but a page layout. We're going to click on here, and you are going basically here to see all type of pages that we have. So I don't know why it is having this bug. So the uh, as you can see, the website is not writing properly, but it doesn't matter here. We're going to scroll down a little bit until we see something called RSVP or SVP. I mean, it is going to be above the FAQs. Here we have the FAQ question or the frequently asked questions. We have here the RS uh, RSVP. So we have uh, four type of RSVP. We have the empty one which is going to be, uh, let's say, a um, multi-layer page. We have this and that, and finally this one. So let's choose the most convenient one RSVP for us, and then we are going to apply the um, loading, or not loading, the, but the setting to it. For example, we are going to select this. From here, we are going to see the name of it. It is going to be named RSVP. So I'm going to visit that page. And here we have it. Now we have created successfully our RSVP page. Now we are going to click on edit and how we can make that page specific for wedding. So basically here, what can we do is to modify the blocks. So I'm going to click on edit and this RSVP is going to be, uh, for example, for a wedding. Now what can we do is to head over ChatGPT I'm going to have here ChatGPT opened, and we are going to demand from ChatGPT to write us, write me a RSVP message for, let's say here, attendees. Atten attendees. And we are going to wait for it. So here, for example, we are excited to set up here forward this one warm regards i'm going to put this just like that we're going to head over here and i am going just to select all of this because i do not want to put this from here and through there so i'm going to have this instead so here, as you can see, we have the RSVP by the date. We are going to put the date of the, um, for example, the first or the 
1st February, February 2025, for example, we're going to put the same date just like that. 2 1 2025. Event name, for example, let's say wedding. Wedding. I'm going to put this. Uh, here we are going to put the dates. Everything is in order. Boom. And then we are going to have to set up everything, applying to this other method of information to this, um, for example, not this form. Form. If you had the tree restriction or looking forward to the video, moment from your attendance so we can make the necessary arrangement. Boom. Now, what can we do here is to add some illustrations, and these illustrations could be just adding, for example, here, I'm going to add a background picture. This is why I have chosen a pixel. So we are going to type in wedding, and we are going to search for some backgrounds. Here, now I'm going to search for a wedding or something. Maybe this one is going to be uh, nice, I think. So we are going to wait for it. Here we have the uh, picture. So we are going to hop in here. I'm going to wait for it. And you're going to see that all of the section is going to be changed for this specific uh, background. So we are going to wait for it. You can add a video or an art instead, but we are going to make it full bleed. Not inset, but we'll bleed it, test it out. If it turns good, we're going to keep it. If it turns bad, we're going to move it. And I think that it is going to look a little bit, or it is going to be better. But this is uh, something that we can consider uh, not perfect, but adjustable. So the colors, I do not think that these colors are going to be our type in here. So we are going to change basically the background. So we're going to head over here. Have or I'm going to put the images again. This is annoying a little bit. We're going to replace it. Upload. So we're going to have another image. If we can have it in here. I'm going to delete that. So we're going to have this instead. Boom. Now we are going to have, I think, a better image. So basically, this is the image. And you can go ahead and modify the form of the RSVP. So what is an RSVP without a form? Basically, it is going to be something like that. So here, as you can see, we have set up the um, RSVP here. What can we do in here? So if you want, you can go ahead and edit the header. I can edit the design of the header and I can make it a solid color. So we are going to make it or gradient, something like that. So we can go ahead and distinguish the header from the RSVP or from the event. I'm going to make it something like this solid color. And this is better, I think. So here we have it. And for this, you can go ahead and add, for example, let's see if we can modify it. The design. Let's see here if we have, I, I'm going to add uh, the background. And you can add a background color and make it a little bit uh, transparent. So we can go ahead and make it just like that. So I'm going to let it as it is and boom. So you can add the section or footer section in here and do not let it empty. It is going to be ugly. So here we have added or created our RSVP for marriage. Now, what can we add for this specific area? We can add some text, some images. So we are going to head over here. I'm going to see here if we can add some or we have some uh, here wedding accessories. Let's see here. I'm going to see something. Accessories, not this, but we can add this. I think that this is correct, especially uh, the tie. And this one too. 
So I'm going to have uh, these uh, specific images. So I'm going to add them as blocks. So I'm going to add here image, image one. I'm going to add this here. So we are going to duplicate it. I'm going to press Alt. I'm going to duplicate it in here. Press Alt again. Put it that here or that one here. So what can we do is to drag and drop the images. So here first, I'm going to add the image in here. I'm going to add it to the specific block. Not this, but that instead. We're going to wait for it. I think that this is a vertical image. So we are going to orient it to be more as a square image, not a horizontal or a vertical like this. So we're going to give it some, a little bit of this and that. So wait for it to process. It is going to be crucial to do that. So now we are going to add another or the image from here. We'll modify it just like that. Add the other images. So basically, this is the uh, thing that I have or I wanted to add. I'm going to make this picture just like that. So we are going to have it like this. Since we cannot make it a little bit square, squarish, I mean, so we are going to do it just like this. This one is going to be like that. So I'm going to burnish this specific area. And this one is going to be a little bit bigger too. So now basically here we have added the RSVP. So we can check it out. We can modify it and see if it is going to be on the mobile view something good. And it is not. So we can have this just like that and this right here so we're going to have this in here for the mobile just like this and also that one is going to be like that for the mobile version also just like that so now let's check the desktop and boom this is something that I really like on the mobile uh, version or view of the Squarespace. It is going to be very customizable, unlike the Wix, which is going to be following up the desktop version. So basically, that is the section. We are going to click on Save to set up everything in order. And boom, this is the RSVP section for the RSVP for the wedding as we have. Me. Uh, this is just a simple example of how we can set up the RSVP, uh, let's say, page in here. You can have here an unlimited choice of options. You can use Canva to create some uh, creatives or some specific, let's say, here, um, designs or vector arts. And also, you can get the help of the other sections or the blocks that has been added into uh, Squarespace. So you can go ahead and click on add block, set up, for example, a line, a shape from here. You can add some shapes from there. You can go ahead and click on modify, set up the shape and add some text under it, put some logos and get crazy with it. Also for Canva, you can get here some designs, some patterns, colors for the specific, uh, let's say here, a header or the background. And you can go ahead and put it as much as you want. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you soon on the next one.